Namaste. One last video. Happy birthday to me. I'm going to the sea. I'm a 72-year-old hippie beach bum, you see. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, I'm going to give this teaching one last time. And I want you to pay attention and ask questions because this encapsulates our whole teaching, our whole work on this channel over the last 10 years. So, here's the chart. <laughs> People start out as Pashu, basically two-legged animals. And their view of the world is that only the world is real. The whole religion, spirituality, even maybe science, and a whole world of knowledge and so on like that is not real. And of course, their view of God is that there is no God. They're atheists. And when they look at themselves, they think, I am the body. So if they do any yoga at all, it's just bullshit hatha yoga, <laughs> which isn't even really yoga at all. And Altogether, this view leads to a lower birth, either a lower class of human being or an animal birth. Now, if they're fortunate and they meet an inspiring teacher who lifts them up to the actual platform of human life, then they go to the beginning of the path and I've arranged the path in colors from low frequency red colors to high frequency blue colors to give some idea. Dvaitavada means duality, the view or teaching of dualism. And in that view, the view of the world is that the world is real. It's concrete, it's substantial. It is the reality. And the view of God is that God exists, but he's far away. So I have to worship him. Because why? My view of myself is I am the soul in the body. So this is yoga of karma. Karma yoga means performing religious rituals and good works like charity and so on to increase your store of punya, good karma. And if you can accumulate sufficient good karma uh, by performance of meritorious acts, then you get through the Brahma Granti. The Brahma Granti is the obstacle on the path, the gate or the knot uh, associated with the solar plexus chakra. And that means you pierce through the illusion that the world is real. And you get to the Vishishta Dvaita platform. Now, in Vishishta Dvaita means qualified non duality. Vishisht Advaita. So, in this view, the view of the world is that the world sure seems real, but the scriptures say, otherwise. Uh -huh. In other words, I know it's not real, but I can't really believe it. <laughs> not quite yet. But their view of God has shifted now to where God is the beloved. God is the beloved in whatever form. And God has thousands and millions of forms in all sorts of different aspects and pastimes and moods and so on so that God is approachable by anyone according to their taste. So when you find your taste, when you realize who you are in relationship with God, even though this is basically a dream, huh? a mental concoction, that's all right. At this stage, it brings rasa and prema 
and one has a view of oneself that I am my Swarupa, my original spiritual form in relationship with God. This is bhakti yoga. This is spontaneous bhakti, pure bhakti. Uh, it's not driven by rules and regulations, but by spontaneous love. And one sees God as the ideal beloved and approaches him in that way or her. <laughs> God or goddess, it's up to you. Now, if you're successful in bhakti yoga, you can pierce through the Vishnu Granti. The Vishnu Granti is associated with the throat chakra. And it is the block or the gate or the knot in the spinal column that prevents you from going farther than this sentimental attachment to God. If you can break through this, if you can become basically one with the beloved, then you get to the vivarta vada. Vivarta means appearance. So the view of the world in vivarta vada is that the world is an appearance only. It may look real, but it's not. It's like a mirage uh, or like a movie projection. The projection looks real while you're in the theater sitting in the seat. But as soon as the light comes on and the projector is turned off, you can see, oh, it's just a screen. Uh, and you go outside and everything is the same. So this illusion is very convincing, but it can be pierced by a certain type of meditation. And what is that? Brahman is the only reality. Brahman, of course, is pure consciousness. Consciousness without an object. So this pure consciousness, actually awareness, because consciousness always has an object. This awareness leads to the realization that I am Brahman, or Shivoham, I am Shiva. So when one realizes this perfectly, well, this is called Raja Yoga. It's also a, a form of meditation in Buddhist teaching. So when one perfects this, one can get through the Rudra Granti. And remember from last time we talked about this, the Rudra Granti is the block or the knot or the gate of thinking that existence has to have form. There has to be some form to exist. There has to be a you so that there can be an I. And this is the last form of subtle duality. But then if one can penetrate this knot, one reaches the uh, Sahasrara Chakra, the thousand petal lotus. And this is the Ajata Vada. Ajata means unborn. So the view of the world in Ajata is the world was never born. It was never created. Huh? If it exists at all, it only exists as an appearance in Brahman. So the view of God is naturally only Brahman exists. Everything else is illusion. So if only Brahman exists, the view of self is that there is no I. There is no I because there is no you. Huh? <laughs> there is no object. So how can there be a subject? Uh, if there's anything at all to be aware of in a Jatavada, it's the self. So if the self is aware of itself, there's still no object. It's only subject. So this is Jnana. Jnana yoga. Jnana is sometimes wrongly translated as knowledge, but it's not. Knowledge means, our word knowledge corresponds to the Sanskrit word vidya. But real realization of the self is jnana, directly perceiving, prakash, uh -huh. directly perceiving the self and that I am that. Uh, soham, tattvamasi. Uh, that's the real essence of self-realization. Now, 
one cannot simply jump up to the Ajatta platform without a sufficient background in the other uh, levels of the path. This is the mistake that I see being made again and again and again, you know, especially in Tier of Anomaly and places like that that are associated with the Advaita teaching. People come, they hear all the wonders of Advaita, and then they try to jump up to Advaita and uh, <laughs> perform the meditation, and they can't. They can't even really jump up to Vivartavada because they don't have a sufficient realization of karma yoga and bhakti yoga. So the only cure for this is to go back to the beginning and do your karma yoga and your bhakti yoga until you're qualified. You have to have the adhikar or the qualification. And we've been over this in previous charts. I don't know if anybody understands any of this except Michael. Oh yeah, I have to give a plug to Michael McClure, who has been very instrumental in developing this teaching. He's also realized. So he directly experiences these things too. And we've been kicking this idea back and forth on our private channel, which by the way is now closed. <laughs> and uh, we have now an ultra secure personal messaging system. Uh, and he has been very, very helpful uh, because he really understands this stuff. He really gets it, unlike so many other people who post nonsense comments. See, this is the thing, and Michael pointed this out to me. He said, you've been giving and giving and giving, and nobody is really giving back. So, of course, it leads to being burned out. I'm burned out on this, man, because I'm not getting the kind of response I need. Now, what would I consider an appropriate response to this teaching? Well, if you've watched the Matrix Learning series, which I highly recommend, uh, and the Being Integrity series, what you should do is get a good dictionary. I highly recommend the Oxford Collegiate Dictionary. Uh, there's also an online app for that. It cost a couple of bucks, you know? And uh, look up every single term in this chart. Even the simple words, especially the simple words like is, the, born, huh? sure, seems, huh? little words like that. I've simplified this chart the language in this chart as much as possible uh, to make it very, very, very simple. But the very simple short words of the English language are statistically the most commonly misunderstood because they have so many definitions. So you have to go through, look up each and every one of these words and make sure you, you know the definition that's appropriate for this chart. See, the uh, words like darshanam, which means view, ajata, which means unborn, vivarta, which means uh, appearance, vashishta dvaita, and dvaita, and pashu, these are the not understood words. We know that you don't know what those mean. The whole purpose of the chart is to define them. But the problem is, the other words are misunderstood. <laughs> the simple words. Some people go through their whole lives and they can't recite even the definitions of the simple words of the English language. If you can't recite the definition, you don't know what it means. This is, you know, this is something I learned when I was like four or five years old. So to me, it seems so incredibly obvious, but people miss it. People get through school and even college without understanding how to clear these words. And because of that, they go through life in a fog using language that they have no idea what the meaning is. It's just incredible. So if you do this, 
if you go and clear these words, huh? and if you go back and start doing your karma yoga and bhakti yoga, I've given all the forms of goddess worship and so on in the previous series. So if you, if you do that, if you actually follow this instruction, huh, I guarantee you're going to get fantastic positive results. I did. And then once you're ready, you can go to the Secret of the Golden Flower series and do the, uh, the Vivarta Vada meditation and you'll start getting enlightenment. Huh? So that's all I'm going to do for the next couple of months is sit on the beach and, and, and sit in the thousand petal lotus and bliss out because it's been very difficult working with people who just aren't ready for this teaching. So uh, I'm going to have some fun. Maybe when I get back, I'll do another series. I don't know. You know, convince me that you're sincere. Show me that you're for real. And that would be a great incentive for me to continue. Aum Tat Sat. Aum Harihi Aum.